Culture Vulture 23 to 29 March 2024. Welcome to Culture Vulture, your guide to the week's entertainment from an alternative viewpoint. Highlights this week include the films The Girl with a Bracelet, 2019, and Gagarin, 2020, and the six-part documentary Lincoln, Divided We Stand. Selections and writing are by Pat Harrington and music is from Tim Rag. Saturday the 23rd of March, 2023. The Girl with a Bracelet, 2019, 1.25 a.m. BBC 2. The Girl with a Bracelet, 2019, is a French courtroom drama that delves into the complexities of teenage life, relationships, and the justice system. Directed by Stéphane de Maustier, this film centers around Lise, a seemingly ordinary teenager accused of murdering her best friend. What sets this film apart is its nuanced exploration of the characters and their motivations. The director skillfully weaves together flashbacks, courtroom scenes, and intimate moments to gradually reveal the truth behind the crime. The audience is kept guessing until the very end, as layers of lies and secrets are peeled away. The performances in The Girl with a Bracelet are exceptional, particularly from the lead actress, Melissa Gewis, who brings depth and vulnerability to her role as Lise. The supporting cast also delivers strong performances, adding to the film's authenticity and emotional impact. Visually, the film is understated yet compelling, with a focus on intimate close-ups and subtle gestures that convey the characters in a turmoil. The cinematography captures the tension of the courtroom scenes and the quiet moments of reflection with equal finesse. Overall, The Girl with a Bracelet is a gripping and thought-provoking exploration of guilt, innocence, and the complexities of justice. It's a film that lingers in the mind long after the credits roll, leaving viewers questioning their own perceptions of truth and morality. Sunday the 24th of March, 2023. Hemingway 11.40 BBC4. Hemingway, a captivating documentary, offers an intimate portrait of the great American writer, Ernest Hemingway. This definitive portrait, created by Ken Burns and Lynn Novick, delves into both the brilliance of his work and the complexities of the man behind the myth. It is followed at 12.30 by a look at the publication of In Our Time, The Sun Also Rises a DNA Farewell to Arms. Whatever Happened to Baby Jane? 1962 11.50 p.m. BBC 2. Whatever Happened to Baby Jane? 1962, is a classic psychological thriller directed by Robert Aldrich, featuring iconic performances by Betty Davis and Joan Crawford. Set in a decaying mansion in Hollywood, the film follows the twisted relationship between two aging sisters, former child star baby Jane Hudson and her wheelchair-bound sister Blanche. From the haunting opening sequence to its shocking climax, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, grips the audience with its dark and suspenseful narrative. The tension between the sisters is palpable, as Jane's descent into madness and Blanche's vulnerability create an atmosphere of dread and uncertainty. Betty Davis a Tordy delivers force performance as Baby Jane, perfectly capturing her blend of childlike innocence and malevolent insanity. Joan Crawford is equally compelling as the tormented Blanche, portraying her fear and desperation with remarkable depth. The film's gothic atmosphere, with its eerie music and haunting cinematography, adds to the sense of unease and foreboding. The setting of the crumbling mansion becomes a character in itself, reflecting the decay of the sisters' minds and the dark secrets hidden within its walls. Whatever Happened to Baby Jane remains a timeless masterpiece of psychological horror, exploring themes of jealousy, obsession, and the destructive power of family ties. Its impact on popular culture is undeniable, influencing countless films and inspiring a legacy that continues to captivate audiences to this day. Monday the 25th of March, 2024. Lincoln, Divided We Stand, 1 of 6, 9.15 p.m. PBS America. Lincoln, Divided We Stand is a six-part documentary series that delves into the remarkable life and unexpected journey of Abraham Lincoln. Narrated by Sterling K. E. Brown, the series provides a comprehensive exploration of Lincoln's complex inner world, seamlessly blending his tragic personal life with his history-making political career. Continues all week. Gagarin, 2020, 1.55 a.m., C4. Gagarin, 2020, is a visually stunning and emotionally resonant French drama directed by Fanny Lyotard and Jeremy Truill. 
Set in a housing project on the outskirts of Paris named after the Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin, the film follows the journey of a young boy named Yuri who dreams of becoming an astronaut. What sets Gagarin apart is its unique blend of social realism and poetic storytelling. The directors craft a visually striking narrative, capturing the beauty and decay of the housing project with equal care. The film's use of imaginative visuals and dreamlike sequences adds depth to Yuri's journey, blurring the line between reality and fantasy. Newcomer Alcini Baverly delivers a remarkable performance as Yuri, bringing warmth, vulnerability, and resilience to the character. His portrayal of a young man determined to hold on to his dreams despite the challenges around him is both captivating and deeply moving. Gagarin is a poignant exploration of community, identity, and the universal human desire for connection and belonging. It sheds light on the plight of marginalized communities while also celebrating the resilience and creativity found within them. Overall, Gagarin is a powerful and visually stunning film that resonates long after the credits roll. It's a testament to the human spirit and the power of dreams to transcend even the harshest of realities. Tuesday the 26th of March, 2024 Gilda, 1946, 3.40 p.m. Talking Pictures Gilda, 1946, directed by Charles Vidia, is a classic film noir that captivates audiences with its sultry atmosphere, complex characters, and gripping plot. Set in post-World War II Buenos Aires, the film revolves around the enigmatic and alluring Gilda, played by the incomparable Rita Hayworth. Gilda is a story of love, betrayal, and deception. The film's intricate plot keeps viewers on the edge of their seats as they navigate the twists and turns of Gilda's tumultuous relationships with her husband, the shady casino owner Bolin Munson, George MacReady, and his right-hand man, Johnny Farrell, Glenn Ford. Rita Hayworth's performance as Gilda is nothing short of mesmerizing. With her magnetic presence and undeniable charm, she embodies the quintessential femme fatale, exuding both vulnerability and strength in equal measure. Hayworth delivers a sizzling and unforgettable performance of Blame It on Mame that has become synonymous with the film itself. As the sultry nightclub singer, Gilda, Hayworth commands the stage with an intoxicating blend of charisma and sensuality, captivating the audience with every move. Clad in a form-fitting black dress and adorned with a long black satin glove, her performance exudes an aura of mystery and allure. However, it's worth noting that Hayworth did not provide the vocals for the song, Instead, it was dubbed by singer Anita Ellis. With her smoky vocals and seductive demeanor, Ellis's rendition adds another layer of depth to Hayworth's performance, further enhancing the scene's steamy atmosphere. As Gilda croons the iconic lyrics, Blame it on Mame, boys, her performance becomes a mesmerizing display of power and desire, leaving an indelible mark on cinematic history. The chemistry between Hayworth and Ford is palpable, adding layers of tension and complexity to their on-screen interactions. As Johnny struggles with his conflicting feelings for Gilda and his loyalty to Munson, the film delves into themes of obsession, jealousy, and desire. Visually, Gilda is a feast for the eyes, with its moody lighting, stylish costumes, and atmospheric cinematography capturing the noir aesthetic in all its glory. The film's iconic imagery, including Gilda's provocative introduction and the infamous scene with her black satin glove, has left an indelible mark on cinema history. Overall, Gilda is a timeless classic that continues to enthrall audiences with its gripping storytelling, unforgettable performances, and sumptuous visuals. It remains a shining example of the film noir genre and a testament to the enduring power of cinema. The Rider, 2018, 1.35am Film 4 the Rider, 2018, directed and written by Chloe Zhao, who later gained widespread acclaim for her work on the award-winning film Nomadland, is a poignant and visually stunning exploration of resilience and identity. Set against the backdrop of the American heartland, the film follows Brady Blackburn, portrayed by non-professional actor Brady Jandrew, a young Rodeo rider grappling with the aftermath of a traumatic head injury. Notably, Jandrew's real-life family and friends, including his father and sister, also play versions of themselves in the film, adding an extra layer of authenticity to the narrative. What sets the rider apart is its authenticity and emotional depth. The director cast non-professional actors, 
many of whom are portraying versions of themselves, adding a layer of realism to the film's narrative. Brady Jandrew, who plays the lead role, delivers a raw and heartfelt performance, drawing viewers into his world of rodeo culture and personal struggle. Chloe Zhao's direction is masterful, capturing the vast landscapes of South Dakota with breathtaking beauty and intimacy. The film's cinematography, characterized by wide shots of the open plains and intimate close-ups of the characters, immerses viewers in the rugged yet poetic world of the American West. At its core, The Rider is a deeply human story about resilience, identity, and the bonds that hold communities together. As Brady grapples with the loss of his rodeo career and the uncertainty of his future, the film explores themes of masculinity, disability, and the pursuit of dreams. Through its quiet moments of introspection and powerful moments of emotional catharsis, the rider offers a profound meditation on what it means to find purpose and meaning in the face of adversity. It's a film that lingers in the mind long after the credits roll, reminding viewers of the power of cinema to illuminate the complexities of the human experience. Wednesday the 27th of March, 2024 Our Ladies, 2019, 9pm Film 4 Our Ladies, 2019, directed by Michael Cotton jones is a spirited and heartwarming coming-of-age film that follows a group of Catholic schoolgirls from Scotland on a wild adventure in Edinburgh. Based on the novel The Sopranos by Alan Warner, the film captures the essence of teenage rebellion, friendship, and self-discovery. Set in the 1990s, Our Ladies offers a nostalgic trip back in time, filled with vibrant music, colorful fashion, and a sense of youthful exuberance. The ensemble cast delivers standout performances, with each character bringing their own quirks and vulnerabilities to the forefront. Despite the film's seemingly light-hearted premise, it delves deep into the lives of his characters, exploring themes of adolescence, friendship, sexuality, and the search for identity. Each of the girls has her own unique struggles and desires, and throughout the course of their adventure, they confront these issues head-on, forging bonds that will shape their futures. It is a vivid portrayal of Scottish working-class life and its colourful cast of characters. The writing is rich with humour, wit, and sharp observations, capturing the essence of teenage rebellion and the complexities of growing up in a small town. At its heart, the film is a celebration of female friendship and solidarity. As the girls navigate the challenges of growing up and forging their own paths, they lean on each other for support and encouragement, forming a bond that transcends social boundaries and societal expectations. Director Michael Cotton jones infuses the film with energy and authenticity, capturing both the highs and lows of adolescence with honesty and humor. The script balances moments of raucous humor with genuine emotion, resulting in a film that is both entertaining and heartfelt. Our Ladies is a refreshing take on the coming-of-age genre, offering a fresh perspective on the trials and triumphs of teenage life. With its memorable characters, lively soundtrack, and uplifting message of friendship, it's a film that will resonate with audiences of all ages. Daphne 10pm BBC4 This one-off biographical drama celebrates the centenary of the birth of renowned author Daphne du Maurier, portrayed by the talented Geraldine Somerville. The drama delves into Daphne du Maurier's life story, shedding light on her fascinating relationships. It particularly explores her connection with American heiress Ellen Doubleday, played by Elizabeth McGovern. Additionally, the drama unfolds her life-changing love affair with the vivacious actress Gertrude Lawrence. Daphne du Maurier talks to Winifred Durath 11.30pm. In 1971, the esteemed author Daphne du Maurier engaged in an insightful conversation with Wilfred Durath. This interview took place in her Cornwall home and covered a range of topics. This rare interview provides a unique window into the mind of Daphne du Maurier, one of the most celebrated authors of the 20th century. Thursday the 28th of March, 2024. Trainspotting, 1996, 10.45pm Film 4. Trainspotting, 1996, directed by Danny Boyle and based on the novel by Irvine Welsh, is a gritty and electrifying portrayal of heroin addiction in Edinburgh, Scotland. The film follows a group of young friends, led by Mark Renton, played by Ewan McGregor, as they navigate the highs and lows of addiction, friendship, and survival. What sets Trainspotting apart is its unflinching honesty and raw energy. Boyle's frenetic direction, 
paired with an iconic soundtrack and razor-sharp dialogue, creates a visceral cinematic experience that immerses viewers in the chaotic world of the characters. From the exhilarating opening chase scene to the harrowing moments of withdrawal and despair, the film pulsates with intensity and authenticity. At its core, Trainspotting is a character study, exploring the motivations and inner demons of its flawed protagonists. McGregor delivers a standout performance as Renton, capturing his charm, wit, and self-destructive tendencies with equal skill. The supporting cast, including Ewan Bremner, Johnny Lee Miller, and Robert Carlyle, also shine in their respective roles, bringing depth and humanity to their characters. Beyond its exploration of addiction, Trainspotting touches on themes of friendship, loyalty, and the search for meaning in a world that often seems devoid of hope. Despite the darkness of its subject matter, the film is infused with moments of dark humor and unexpected poignancy, offering glimpses of redemption amidst the chaos. Trainspotting remains a seminal work of British cinema, known for its bold storytelling, unforgettable characters, and groundbreaking visual style. Nearly three decades after its release, it continues to resonate with audiences around the world, cementing its status as a modern classic. Friday the 29th of March, 2024, Good Friday. Catch Me If You Can, 2002, 6.15pm Film 4. Catch Me If You Can, 2002, directed by Steven Spielberg, is a captivating and exhilarating biographical crime film based on the true story of Frank Abagnale Jr. starring Leonardo DiCaprio as Abagnale and Tom Hanks as FBI agent Carl Hanrity. The film follows the cat-and-mouse game between the young, charismatic con artist and the determined federal agent pursuing him. Catch Me If You Can is a thrilling and stylish tale of deception, charm, and wit. DiCaprio delivers a charismatic and multi-layered performance as a bagnail, effortlessly embodying the character's confidence and vulnerability as he masterminds a series of elaborate cons while on the run from the law. Hanks brings depth and gravitas to his role as Hanrity, infusing the character with a mix of determination, frustration, and begrudging admiration for a bagnail's ingenuity. Spielberg's direction is masterful, blending suspense, humor, and heart to create a film that is both entertaining and emotionally resonant. The film's 1960s setting is brought to life with vibrant visuals and period-appropriate production design, immersing viewers in the world of a bagnail's escapades. Beyond its thrilling plot and dynamic performances, Catch Me If You Can explores themes of identity, family, and the pursuit of the American dream. A bagnail's journey from a disillusioned teenager to a legendary con artist is both exhilarating and poignant, offering insights into the complexities of human nature and the allure of living on the edge. With its stellar cast, sharp script, and expert direction, Catch Me If You Can is a standout film that entertains, engages, and leaves a lasting impression. It's a testament to the power of cinema to transport audiences into the lives of extraordinary individuals and the extraordinary circumstances that shape them. Two-Tone Night BBC 4 from 9pm Two-Tone is a genre that exploded from the grassroots of Coventry and Birmingham in the late 1970s and early 1980s. It united black, white, and Asian youths through its infectious rhythms and powerful lyrics. Bands like The Specials and The Selector played a central role in shaping this influential movement. The night begins with Terry Hall at the BBC. In this 59-minute special, viewers will journey into the BBC's archives to revisit the extraordinary and genre-hopping career of the legendary musician Terry Hall. The show features captivating performances of hits including Gangsters, Thinking of You, and Sense. La La Land, 2016, 11pm BBC 2 La La Land, 2016, directed by Damien Chazelle, is a modern-day musical masterpiece that dazzles with its charm, romance, and infectious energy. Set in contemporary Los Angeles, the film follows the passionate love story between aspiring actress M.I.A., Emma Stone, and jazz musician Sebastian, Ryan Gosling, as they pursue their dreams amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. At its heart, La La Land is a celebration of the magic of cinema and the power of dreams. Chazelle's direction infuses every frame with a sense of wonder and nostalgia, paying homage to classic Hollywood musicals while also giving the genre a fresh and contemporary twist. The film's vibrant colors, stunning cinematography, and dazzling musical numbers transport viewers into a world of fantasy and romance. 
Stone and Gosling deliver captivating performances, displaying both charm and vulnerability as they navigate the highs and lows of their relationship and careers. Their chemistry is palpable, imbuing every scene with a sense of authenticity and emotional depth. The film's original music, composed by Justin Hurwitz, is both catchy and emotive, with standout songs like City of Stars and Audition, The Fools Who Dream, earning critical acclaim and numerous awards. The choreography, by Mandy Moore, is equally impressive, adding another layer of visual spectacle to the film's musical sequences. Beyond its surface glamour, La La Land delves into themes of sacrifice, ambition, and the pursuit of artistic fulfilment. As M.I.A. and Sebastian grapple with the challenges of following their passions while staying true to themselves, the film offers a poignant and relatable exploration of the choices we make in pursuit of our dreams. With its dazzling visuals, captivating performances, and memorable music, La La Land is a cinematic triumph that captures the joy and heartache of love, ambition, and the pursuit of happiness. It's a film that leaves audiences enchanted, inspired, and singing its praises long after the credits roll. And finally, streaming. Quiet on set, the dark side of kids' TV episodes releasing from Monday the 25th of March, 2024 on Discovery+. Plus. Quiet on set, the dark side of kids' TV is a docu-series that delves into the toxic culture behind some of the most iconic children's shows from the late 1990s and early 2000s. The program mainly focuses on shows helmed by Dan Schneider including iCarly, The Amanda Show, Zoe 101, Drake and Josh and Sam and Cat, which helped launch the careers of actors such as Drake Bell, Amanda Bynes, Miranda Cosgrove, and Jeanette McCurdy. It uncovers the hidden aspects of kids' TV, shedding light on issues such as sexual abuse, harassment, racism, and gender dynamics within the industry. The Shield Seasons 1-3 available from Thursday 28 March, 2024 UK TV Play. The Shield is an American crime drama television series that premiered on March 12, 2002, on FX in the United States. The show concluded after seven seasons on November 25, 2008. Created by Sean Ryan, it gained acclaim for its portrayal of corrupt police officers. Initially advertised as Rampart, it was loosely based on the True Life Rampart Division police scandal. The series is widely regarded as one of the greatest TV shows of all time. Why? The Shield is a gripping exploration of moral ambiguity, exemplifying the noir aesthetic. Vic Mackey, Michael Chiklis, the central character in The Shield, possesses a magnetic allure that transcends his glaring moral flaws. Vic is not a one-dimensional hero or villain. His multifaceted personality makes him intriguing. His internal struggle between duty, loyalty, and self-preservation adds layers to his character. Audiences are drawn to anti-heroes who defy conventional norms. Vic's willingness to bend or break rules for the greater good, or his own survival, challenges our perceptions. Vic exudes confidence, whether interrogating suspects or leading his team. His charisma makes us root for him even when we disapprove of his actions. Vic fiercely protects those he cares about, especially his family and team. His vulnerability in these moments humanizes him. Vic's flaws, corruption, brutality, and manipulation create tension. We wonder if he'll redeem himself or spiral further into darkness. Vic faces impossible decisions, blurring the line between right and wrong. We empathize with his predicaments, even when we condemn his choices. In essence, Vic Mackey's allure lies in his imperfections, the very flaws that make him a compelling and unforgettable character. Chickless brings a compelling intensity to the role, making Vic Mackey a memorable and complex character throughout the series. A Gentleman in Moscow episodes releasing weekly from Good Friday on Paramount+. Plus. A Gentleman in Moscow is based on the 2016 novel of the same name by Amor Tolls. The story is set in the aftermath of the Russian Revolution. The central character is Count Alexander Rostov, portrayed by Ewan McGregor. Count Rostov, a Russian aristocrat, finds himself on the wrong side of history due to his gilded past. He is spared from execution by a communist tribunal on the condition that he never leaves the Grand Metropole Hotel where he is staying. The series explores themes of confinement, survival, 
and Russia's tumultuous history, including the Red Terror and Stalin's Purges 12. A Gentleman in Moscow promises to be a gripping historical drama, and fans of the novel are eagerly anticipating its adaptation. Thank you.